settle things here with India and Kyrgyzstan. Action is underway. We hear whistles and the wrestlers are ready to go. Kirchhoff wrestling in that blue singlet. And on the other end, it's Churag wrestling in the red sling, keeping up with the Indian dominance. When you think back to the 57 kilos, just the last few years, Aman, Aman, and Kumar Ravi. So Churag looking to, to become the next big Indian star here at 57 kilos as Karachov in deep on a single leg comes up, has it shelved on that right hip, doing a good job, and there's a thunderous two. And an additional... I spoke a little too soon. Karachov still on top. Somehow Chirag able to keep his hip square and not give up that exposure. Showed the score. Rather than being 4-0, is only 2-0. Doing a good job for Chirag to fight that off. Chirag, 2021 cadet world bronze medalist. Ended up going 3-1 and one in that competition. So looking for his second career world bronze medal. Chirag picked up an opening round win. 6-1 victory over Gutu Ozawa out of Japan. Then... Ayunas Ibatirov, who we just saw pick up a bronze medal following that. Alan Oralbeck by score 8-0, which puts him into the gold medal match. And on the other end for Karachov, picked up a victory over Kunkanji out of the People's Republic of China. Muhammad Kravus out of Turkey and Maxwell Gallagher out of the United States before picking up that one-point victory over Ali Mohamedi out of the Islamic Republic of Iran. So three wins apiece for both of these guys. A fourth win would leave them standing atop the podium here. The U23 World Championships. And I do believe I said Chirag had a bronze medal, so he's looking for his second, but this is actually the gold medal match. So an improvement from his end from that 2021 Cadet World Championships, the U17 World Championship finish. Set lone takedown for Karachov in the opening period. Gave him that 2-0 victory. Elbow pass attempt for Chirag. Period number one comes to a close with Karachov in lead 2-0. Referee asking for inactivity on Karachov's part.
Karchov working that underhook. Left side, driving those heels into that center circle. Still referee asking for that passivity call. Saying Chirag has to keep his heels to the center of the mat, and he's not doing that. So now he's hit with that second inactivity. So goes on the shot clock, and immediately, look at that. That is beautiful. Two-point counter-offensive shot, picks up the two points, but more importantly, kills that shot clock. So if you're ju just joining us and not familiar with freestyle wrestling, and you see that 30-second box come up just to the right of the wrestler's score. If you do score when you're on that shot clock, the shot clock will be killed, and you will continue to keep the points that you scored. And if you don't pick up a point in that 30 seconds, then your opponent will be awarded one. So Chirag did a good job on both ends, killing that shot clock and picking up the two-point takedown, but more importantly, the two-zero or the two criteria as Chirag stepped out of bounds with that left foot. So. Karachov steps out of bounds with that left foot. Scratch that. Let's rewind. It was Chirag who stepped out, giving Karachov the one point. But it looked like both of those guys were towing the line. And Chirag does it with 25 seconds left. He becomes just the second freestyle wrestler ever from the nation of India to claim a U23 freestyle world title. He joins Aman Aman. And if this is any sign of his trajectory, we saw Aman win in 2022. Jumped up to the senior level. And then in 2024, he wins a Paris Olympic bronze medal. Is that the path? that Chirag 